Are you considering buying a home in North Idaho? Well, as realtors with years of experience in the area, we are here to share with you three things to consider before purchasing a home. Hi, I'm Kristen Horst. And I'm Seth Horst. And we are with 108 Real Estate Team in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And we specialize in helping people buy, sell, and invest in real estate in beautiful North Idaho. Welcome to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, a city known for its beautiful natural surroundings and vibrant community. If you're thinking about buying a home here, there are a few things you do need to consider before making that purchase. First and foremost, you need to consider the location of the property. North Idaho has so many different little cities and neighborhoods, so you got to find the right fit for you. I agree. So if you were looking for more peace and quiet, um, then I would say go more rural, go to some of the outskirt areas, maybe Athol, Rathrum, Spirit Lake, something like that where you can get a little more space in between each house, maybe a little property, something like that. Yeah, those, those areas are uh, pretty common to have lot sizes of five acres and up, um, and that will give you that kind of wooded, dreamy location that you're looking for. Um, and if more of a uh, suburb type feel is your is your jam, then um, as we have, you, we have some amazing suburbs we do. Yeah. in the area. A lot you, of great park. Sorry, a lot of great parks. <laughs> um, go on. In, in the neighborhoods for our kids, the best thing is um, I think they're so well done. And if you have kids, they run around all together with the neighborhood kids, and they have the parks and whatnot. Lots of bike trails. Mm -hmm. um, and, and like she said, a lot of green space, which is really cool. And they're doing a pretty good job in some of these neighborhoods of mixing in some commercial space. So you have options for eating nearby. Um, I'd, say, I'd say it's a good mix if you're looking for a little bit of a small time town vibe, but still having uh, a good sense of community and, and getting to know your neighbors real well. Exactly. Or you could go to the more downtown route and you get a little less of that. Um, I don't feel like people in the downtown area are quite as friendly as the suburban neighborhoods, um, less neighborhood -y feeling. It probably depends. Uh, it probably depends on what street you're on. So the street we live on is slightly busier um, and there are more vacation rentals. So we don't have the opportunity to meet our neighbors quite as much, but some of the smaller streets like in the Garden District or Sanders Beach, I think would probably find a good balance. She says no, but maybe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like uh, the streets are just a little bit busier and people are passing through than the suburban neighborhoods. But still, um, you can st obviously people still know their neighbors and whatnot. But we have in the downtown area, you know, you can walk to restaurants and bars and shopping and it's a little more exciting and just like a different feel. And even downtown has uh, kind of three distinct uh, at least three. Let's see. We've got Midtown, uh, Downtown, and then uh, East Sherman neighborhood um, all kind of have their own little vibe going on, which is they're, they're pretty cool. Midtown's kind of up and coming. Um, that's where we live and it's very walkable. It's still only five blocks to the beach for us and five blocks to Sherman, which is like the main drag downtown. Uh, and then East Sherman is Mm, half mile to the uh, east of the main downtown and it's got its own little vibe going and lots of little restaurants and stuff going over there too um, and then we have Sanders Beach yeah Sanders Beach is a nice little community um, right on the lake and it's a great it, you can walk to downtown you can walk to the beach you it's just a nice little community yeah kind of like a, a little of a sleepy little spot to yeah. hang out which is pretty cool there's a marina there too as well um, and a couple of public beaches, which are a little bit off the beaten path, so you don't get quite as much tourism there. So if you're considering moving here, really rack your brain and talk with your spouse or whomever and figure out what kind of vibe and community you are going for. And, and don't hesitate to reach out to us. We get a lot of questions about that, um, and it really helps to talk to someone that knows the area and lives here and can kind of guide you towards that right spot because we, we definitely do that for our clients all the time. All right, the second thing to consider is the timing of when you actually go to make your purchase. What is the ideal time to buy a home? And I, and I mean like throughout the year, seasonally. Um, when you look at winter time here, it tends to be a slower real estate market in the winter. There's obvious reasons for that. It's usually cold and snowy. Um, 
people that are here in a migratory, migra- migratory way. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, people that spend the winter out of the area aren't here, so that slows things down a little bit as well. Uh, there's not as much tourism. So that can be a good time to buy a home because it's not as competitive. Uh, there are some downsides to the winter time, right? Well, there's less inventory because yep. people have taken their houses off the market or if they're the snowbirds like he's talking about. They close their houses up for the winter and then move away and put it back on the market in the spring or summer. So we, we have lower inventory, but we also have homes that sit on the market a lot longer because people aren't buying as often. Uh, a lot of that, I think, has to do with nobody wants to move in the winter. And it's hard to see the property in the winter if it's covered in snow. Right. We have showed property with snowshoes on. That does happen. <laughs> that, that is a real thing. Um, additionally, moving in the winter here is kind of a crapshoot. So uh, you may, or if you're moving from out of the area, um, you may end up in the middle of a snowstorm and that's going to that's gonna jam you up pretty bad. Uh, we moved here in the wintertime. We got lucky. And we hit a window that was clear enough and we were able to get moved in, but it does happen. But you can get a better deal in the winter, so that's a perk. Uh, Never two is, you know, spring, summer, or fall. I think those are kind of all, I would say, the same. Yeah. For, like, inventory starts picking up in the spring. Summer's busy. That's when a lot of people are checking the area out to move here. They're looking uh, because they're on vacation. They have time to do it and that's when they're all trying to move so that starts uh being more competitive market yeah. so which drives prices up a little bit and um where we'll start seeing a, you know a couple or a few offers on a property yeah so how to judge that i guess you know keep your eye on things in the winter time and if the right property pops up i, I would not hesitate i would it. not hesitate if you find something in the winter yep i would definitely not delay because you will get a better price it will be easier and less competitive yep and then, you know, obviously make sure you hire a professional to guide you through the process because, you know, when it is ultra competitive, you need to know how to do certain things like the good old escalation clause or whatnot. Um, if you don't know what that is, reach out and ask. We'll tell you. Finally, you need to consider your budget and financing options. This is really important when we start looking at homes so that we know what. So you know what you can afford and how much money you need to come up with. Yeah, it's it's very easy to get all dreamy and see that beautiful home and like, oh yeah, I can buy that. Little do you you might not realize that uh, with interest rates going up, um, now that home that used to be affordable is not so affordable anymore. So and then you just got crushed. Yeah, because that, you loved it and you that, can't afford it. That's sad to see the uh, emotion involved. In. Very sad day. So to combat that, uh, the best thing to do is get pre-approved through a lender. Um, and we have many fabulous resources in the Coeur d'Alene area, someone local, uh, that you can pick from and meet with them or talk with them over the phone. Figure out what your budget is before you even start looking. And that will save you some pain down the road for sure. So what I always tell our clients is it's not any commitment talking to a lender. We don't get anything for you talking to the lender. So we're not trying to push you on somebody because we get something on the back end anywhere. It just benefits that you're ready to purchase when you can. Um, But yeah, meeting with them, there's no commitment. And then you get a, you know, you can give them a clear idea of what your finances look like, you know, your job situation, blah, blah, blah. And then they can really break it down for you and let you know what, you know, what you can afford and what your interest rate's going to be and all the, you know, what you have to come up out of pocket to close the deal. That way there aren't any surprises. And then you can go in and fully be prepared to write an offer if you find that dream house. Right. They uh, they will be able to outline all the different finan- financing options as well. There are some really good programs out there that yeah. they would know about. Some are even on a local level. Thank you for watching our video on the top three things to consider when buying a home in North Idaho. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We are always here. You can call or text. Our number will be at the end screen on the video. And thanks again, guys. Uh, 
please take a moment to like and subscribe so we can keep these videos coming. We really enjoy doing them. Obviously, you can tell we love the area here. Uh, we live here. We are full-time real estate agents, and it's, it's a passion of ours, so we're happy to share that with you.